Nothing. Nothing. What's up, planet? Hold on. What's up, planet Earth? It is a completely doo doo kaga day right now. Um, I am very, very hungry. It's like noon. Slept in a little late. But I'm gonna head up to Cozy and get some food. And then we'll eat it. And I'll show you me eating it. <laughs> and you'll all love it. I wanted to try California tortilla which is right over there, but uh, everyone tells me that it sucks, so I don't, so I don't do that. Cozy, on the other hand, is delicious. It's kind of like Panera, but it doesn't cost like $20 for a salad. Do you guys ever experience when you go to get food, maybe like a burrito from Chipotle, and they start wrapping the burrito, and then like it starts ripping, and they know it's messing up, but they've already gone too far, and they're like, I'll just keep doing it even though I know it's completely getting destroyed. Basically it was what happened with the sandwich. The, the bread was coming apart, the bread was like ripping from it being like over toasted and it was just like f crumbling and she's still like trying to fold it and shove all the stuff in there. I'm like... <laughs> so, another thing is I usually get this tandoori chicken, which is fantastic, but apparently it wasn't fantastic enough because they stopped making it, so I had to get pesto chicken. Not a good start to the day. All right, we're back. Uh, I have a lot to do today. I have so many uh, Ever Ford orders because of the holiday. Got me kind of behind. Um, so I'm gonna eat this. I'll show a close up of it on the screen. But basically, it's a pesto chicken. So it's a pesto sauce on the chicken. I got fat free vinaigrette squirted on it. I have spinach. I have onions. I have peppers. Uh, and then a multigrain bread on the side. On the website thing, it says 610 calories for the sandwich. I don't get cheese on it, so that's gonna go down a little bit in terms of the fat. We'll figure that out a little bit. The first meal of the day, or like lunch, I, that's usually my main meal, is always the usually the highest in calories unless I have a specific dinner planned because I can fit anything in my macros. So, <sighs> bread on the side. I have a lot of stuff to do, so I'm gonna get to work and eat this sandwich. Very, very hungry. No, I'll eat it on camera, because I know you guys, all right, here we go, hold on. This is what I'm talking about. Sandwich is falling apart there, sandwich is falling apart there, stuff's squirting out. Poor construction. All right, I'm doing some shirt orders and some customer service, which will take me a very, very long time. Um, this video is actually sponsored by my friends at cardpool.com. Very awesome website. Basically, you go on and you can buy gift cards for cheaper than what they actually are. And if you have gift cards, like, you know, some ones you don't use, like, you know, I have some GNC and some stuff. Well, I definitely will use the Chipotle one, but you can actually sell your gift cards to this website if you'd rather have cash because you're not gonna use that gift card, like there's nothing you want there at wherever uh, you have gift cards to. So very, very cool. I used to do this back in high school, but um, like for example, they gave me a $20 credit for this website. I went on there, I picked out one for AMC Theaters, which is up the street of my house, for a $25 gift card. So it's like f free money. Who doesn't like free money? Don't be that guy, this isn't for like buying gift cards to give to other people as gifts. It's for like your own personal use to save money. It's an awesome service, it's really, really cool. It's something that I would definitely use. So uh, link in the description, you'll save like an extra five bucks. So that's even more savings. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Cardpool. Um, I'm gonna go get a snack. Snack will be protein cookie, classic peanut butter chip. Here are the macros. These things are delicious. They're delicious. So I just had to go into the UPS store to re-up my P.O. box. If you guys ever want to send me treats, it's always in the description. But uh, it's mainly for like shirt returns and stuff. Anywho, there's certain places you go into and you can just, like the environment is just like, I don't like being here. <laughs> Post office, UPS office. DMV, just like they design the buildings to like, just, they're fun suckers. You suck the fun out of everything. The teeter. Grocery shopping done. Just got basically stuff to cook 
for today for you guys. I shop for you. All right, so we're back and uh, we're gonna make a, a favorite here on the channel. If this is one of the newer day of eatings you've, you've first time watching, guess what, you're in for a treat because, um, you know, shout out to, to me. I'm gonna go ahead and shout myself out. Uh, Max tuning on everything, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And the biggest thing that I get on Snapchat, the most amount of snaps are of monsters, of Rips candy, and of what I'm about to make, which is sausage dip. And Jimmy Dean, on the back of the bag, it says that they have a sausage dip. So, yeah, we actually partnered up and uh, they paid me about $6 million. No, I'm just kidding. This has been around for a long time. My ex-girlfriend, she showed me the threat with this recipe. But uh, it's the simplest thing ever. Normally, I buy a tube of Jimmy Dean sausage. I looked for the reduced fat, couldn't find any. So I want to get this turkey stuff, but I'm worried that this isn't as much turkey or as much sausage as normal. So this is turkey sausage to lower fat. Basically, you just need sausage, cream cheese, tomatoes. So, tube of sausage. I got the turkey sausage. Uh, I get the Philadelphia fat-free cream cheese so we can eat more of this stuff. So it's less, you know, less numbers and calories. It's lower in calories. And then I like the Rotel tomatoes. I got hot today because I'm feeling a little spicy. So normally you would just cook and brown up the, uh, the, the, the sausage. This is already cooked. So we're just gonna dump, you just dump these things in. So when the sausage is done, you dump the tomatoes in, you dump the whole thing of cream cheese in. Hopefully it won't be too cheesy, like me. And then you just stir it up, so I'll show it to you. Like this is it, once, you, once this kind of melts and this mixes around, that's the entire recipe. And it's fantastic, and everyone who's tried this has been like, oh my God, this is so good. That's because it is amazing, and it's very, very simple. If you ever go to like a party or something, if you get invited to parties, then uh, make this, because it's super simple, everyone will love it. Get some chips. I get the hints of lime because they're delicious. Okay. I feel like uh, Vanna White on Wheel of Fortune or whatever. Okay, so it's done. This is what it's supposed to look like. Doo-doo, baby. It's gonna be amazing. I've never had it with turkey sausage. I've always used the low-fat Jimmy Dean, and I've never had the hot Rotel, I think. I got the hot because I, uh, I figured the turkey sausage would be a little, a little less spassy. So let's go ahead and eat this. I'm so excited for this. It's kinda hot though. That is the best thing ever. The Rotel hot is a little spicy. Leave a comment down below if you have made this, because I know a ton of you have, and express your thoughts. It'd be like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. You know, leave a comment down below. If you're wondering, yes, I have eaten the entire thing before. I split it into two halves. Um, I have eaten the whole thing in one sitting, but then I felt ashamed of myself for eating an entire container of cream cheese. So I'm gonna eat this. Got two servings of to Tostitos. This is what two servings looks like, okay? It's not that many chips, so be careful with that. We got a monster because I'm shreepy, but I'm gonna eat this, drink this, clean up, probably watch some Netflix, and then get back to work when I'm done. This is so good. Let's go again. Do it again. Mm! So I'm like halfway done or I guess more than halfway done. I had to come back and get another half serving of chips. I could definitely eat this dip until I started to hate myself for how much I'm eating, but it's fantastic. Very, very spicy because of the Rotel tomatoes. Monster isn't the best. Sodas aren't the best mix with spicy stuff. So, it's so good. Make this. So, about an hour and a half later, um, can't really walk faster. Uh, I have finished up packing up the shirts from the holiday. Thanks everyone for snagging them up. Thank you if you guys snagged any shirts at all. Um, it's crazy, this last launch was insane. A lot of sizes are dropping fast. So if you guys wanna snag any from this launch, I'd recommend you snag one up. Um, but there'll always be cool stuff coming out each time. Not cooler stuff, just cool stuff, it's all cool. Six o'clock, getting a little hungry. Let's make some food soon. Yes, welcome to our fine dining experience. Tonight on the menu we have two pollocks freshly caught from the Alaskan waters. We have a wonderful vegetable medley freshly grown locally and then we have wild grain rice pilaf to, to mix all of the flavors into your mouth. Why did that change the accents? 
Okay, so what we have for dinner here is two roasted garlic Italian herb Pollock Gordon's fried fish fillets. These are fantastic. And then what we have is a whole thing of the VT Dine-In chicken flavored rice, which is delicious. And we have, I was gonna use a different thing of veggies, but it had like seven grams of fat in it. So I went with the steam fresh Italian blend. So this is gonna be my dinner. I might squirt some fat free dressing on this. We're gonna do something on camera here. Let me move it over here to make it seem like cool editing. That's what you gotta do, you gotta change the angles up. Okay guys, I'm not sure in my entire life, maybe mother has maybe eat it, but I don't think I've ever had, what is this, cauliflower? I've had cauliflower ear before when I used to wrestle, but this is like the, the like disgusting, disgusting cousin of broccoli, right? So we're gonna live on camera eat this and I'm, it's gonna be terrible. Okay, it wasn't bad, it just tastes like a lamer version of broccoli. Let's move it back over here so it seems like we're changing angles again. Yeah, that was just like a blamer broccoli. Here's the like superior, superior brother, and this is like the one the family hates. So, this is gonna be dinner. Fish. What hit oil? Fish away! Oh, ha! Whoo! Whoo! Like two eating videos in a row where I've done that. Delicious. Oh yeah, just to give you an idea on the calories here. So for two fish fillets, like 13 fat, 24 carb, nine protein. And then this is gonna be about six fat for the whole thing and 70 grams of carbs the entire thing. Um, be careful with these because sometimes it'll be, it's all, generally it's always like two servings. So don't think uh, that it's just one. Mm, I definitely just burned my tongue, but this is gonna be really good. Still some work to do, editing up the videos. Yeah. All right, so to finish up the macros, we're having one serving of each of these things. This is uh, fiber one, like pellets, looks like rabbit food. Honestly, tastes just like Cheerios, pretty much. But this has 14 grams of fiber per serving. So if you need some extra fiber, you like cereal, like me, uh, golden grams. So one serving each of those. We're having one Granny Smith apple, which is the best. One Greek light blueberry yogurt and one scoop of the best tasting protein known to man, MTS cookies and cream, like always. But um, here is everything that we had today. There's the, the you know, the sandwich and everything. All of it right there. Macros pretty close to what we wanted, 78 fat. 366 carb, 183 protein. I might like throw a handful more carbs in there by cereal or something. Always a warm, tingly sensation when you get super close to your macros. It's like, woo! But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was what, 91? Dang! <laughs> We're almost to the 100. I really don't want to do anything special for 100, honestly, because I don't want to do another 10,000 calorie challenge, because that was miserable. Um, but, who knows? Should I stop when I get to 100? Should I end the series? Should I, should I retire it? Like, like it's like, you know, because if I go 101, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it going forever. Who knows? Okay, good night. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Bye.